Um, it happened again. I, 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 I was recording, and 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 then and then my my computer crashed, and I I, I lost a little bit of footage. So um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'll roll the titles and I'll explain it in a minute. Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 7, a couple weeks late. Why? Because of the lost footage, which I, I lost. Um, so, I recorded a shadow play, right? And, uh, unfortunately, I was doing a little bit of recording of what would have been, what would be this episode, um, and, uh... Yeah, my computer crashed, and unfortunately, the footage I recorded um, got corrupted. Corrupted. There, couldn't see that word. Corrupted. Corrupted. Yeah, and I kind of lost that footage. So yeah, fortunately though, all it really was—I can tell you this now—all it really was is that I found the data cube which I needed. Some guy I can't remember his name was all like, "Oh yeah, oh well, it's a good job you uh, you know." the Sith and yeah, yeah he said that whatever he said I can't remember what he actually said and then I came back to my ship and Lord Zash was like wow thank you you found the cube okay move on that that was really it that was that was all uh you've actually missed so uh <laughs> really not much to see I mean the last episode was really the meat of it you know where we got to kill that guy and yeah that was that was like the meat of it and what I recorded was kind of just like the yeah, okay, found it. That's really it. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. You are not helping the situation. I will end you. Your eyes are poorly textured. Look at the fear in his eyes. <laughs> I just realized something. There's his eyes, right? Now, you imagine this is this, that's kind of like what what meant where the sound's meant to be coming out of. But if you look at it as a whole, it looks like he's going. Aah! No, am I the only one that thinks? <laughs> anyway, we're making our way to Narshadar. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go straight to Narshadar, shall we? Yes. Ah, apprentice, you've reached Narshadar safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. Any idea where I should start? In this case, the who is more important than the where. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, Converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. I want a cult. He sounds like a very cunning man. I admire that. Cunning, devious, persuasive, yes. And atrociously stubborn. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion, but you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. I'm certain they will. <laughs> I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. I think I want a cult myself. I think I do, I think I do. Oh, hi, Cam. What are you doing standing there? Ah, little Sith, I had forgotten what a delight it is to roam the galaxy and feast on its energies. I've not felt this full since the battles of Yun and Kabosh, when Veshik Urk and I followed our masters into war and feasted on armies of Jedi. I'm not familiar with In or Chabosh. It was in the days before Tulak Kord was the Dark Lord of the Sith. On the, in, the Jedi had laid siege to an Imperial stronghold. Tulak Horde broke the siege single handedly. I hate that word. And then he pressed forward to Jedi held Kibosh, leaving nothing but Jedi blood in his wake. I never lacked force to feed on those days again. Continue to follow me, and I promise 
Those days will return. Insult, ja. I doubt you will be able to live up to those words, little Sith. Still, when I fight at your side, I begin to feel like I did then, when Veshik Urk and I fought at our master's sides, and none could defeat us. Okay. F f fair enough. Why did you bring me here when your your spot on the ship is like over here? I think is it isn't 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 his his spot like here somewhere? I I, I might be wrong. I just I can't, I can't really remember that. Anyway, we're making our way down to Narshadar. I am actually going to take a precautionary measures now. There's HK by HK. Um, I know he wants to talk to me. I'm going to take precautionary measures, and I'm going to sort of stop recording, and then start recording when I get to um, the area I need to get to, or kind of like once I've recorded the cutscene, because I'm a bit scared. Also, is the music been turned down? No, there is music. It just feels so quiet. Well, there's no music. Oh, and level 19 as well. How exciting. Oh, pretty cutscene. What is that? Is that meant to be a ship? Okay, then. But yeah, the sad reality is, is that this is what happens when you do videos of an MMO where your choices are kind of stuck at that and you can't revert back to your previous save. Um, whereas if I was playing any other game, I probably could revert back to a previous save. It's like with KOTOR. I've got the save file because I, I, I took the save file before I wiped my computer previously and I just need to uh, go back and uh, start up KOTOR again which will probably never happen because I said ages ago that I was going to start up KOTOR again and I still haven't. I know! Level 90! Don't be upset. Use your anger. Use your anger to, I don't know, kill all these guys? Eh, let's just make it up as I go along. What new abilities do we get? We get absolute. Oh, we do get something. We get Jolt. Interrupts target. Oh, my interrupt ability. C cool, cool, I, I guess. Where's the. There it is. Need to go that way. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you mind, uh, you know, going away? Hi bye. Bye bye, whoever you are. Oh, there goes the casino. We'll just go to the promenade. Ooh, he gets to do some betting and lose all his money. I wish you could actually do proper betting in this game. I mean, I know you've got the um. Oh crap! Yeah, of course the um. The event hasn't come back this year, has it? What is it called? The um. Oh, what is it called? I forgot what it's actually called. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The 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 Narshadar nightlife event. Yeah, it's not come back this year. Okay, I mean, it, like, it, do, it doesn't matter for me anyway, because cause I've got all the achievements. Um, but, but, but for anybody else, boo-hoo. That was very insensitive of me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have gone boo-hoo. I mean, if you're an achievement hunter and you didn't get all the achievements, I feel so sorry for you. But yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't bring it back. I was annoyed when they brought it back last year, because they didn't add any new rewards. It was just all the same rewards as the previous year. And it was just like, what, what was the point? Was, what was the point? Destress, you're around. Ooh. You're an ugly fella. Hello. I am Bob. Again, making up as I go along. I do it every video. I can't mount here. Well, screw your rules. Because I have rocket boost. <laughs> oh, there's a meeting going on. Oh, Destress. Dear brutish Destress. And Riley. So beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me, my other children would like to play with you. Um, oh, hello. Oh, okay. Why, why are you just randomly attacking me? What? What? What is? What is going on right now? Why are they just randomly attacking me? I, I, I walk in here and like, okay, my children wants to play with you. Like, what? What? What did I do? I just walked in here. Um, okay. I mean, I know I got to speak to these two, but I, uh, I, whatever. Anyway. 
What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. You were cowering in fear! Show my master some respect, weakly, or I would be all too happy to consume you. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. Uh, hello? Are you, are you going to bow? You would be wise to follow her lead. Of course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Palladius has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies, but you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius's legs out from under him. The masses will worship me by dawn. Get him the way Palladius soon? did. Find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the crates, named after the crate dragon on Tatooine. Totally didn't know Their that. leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. Why should I be content to emulate Palladius? You're right, my lord. There are cleverer ways to steal Palladius' power. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. Ooh. Um... I'd rather fight the gang. Why not? I Start think I'll stick with what I know best. Murder and mayhem. Oh, wait. The direct approach. I like it. The crate's lair is in the Corellian sector. Crush their leader, and the masses will take notice. Alright. I'll take that. Uh, halfway to level 20 already. Uh, Ken, why are you walking so slow? Why is he so slow today? Is it because I'm walking so slow? Oh, it's because I was walking so slow for some reason. Alrighty then. Uh, how far we gotta go? We gotta travel. I have no idea, but probably to the red light sector, most likely. Do you require medical attention? No, but I require me getting rid of all this junk. Be well. I will try and be well. I'm not done yet. I want to get rid of that as well. And we have an experience boost. Well, you can go away. I don't care about you. We have an experience boost. How lovely. I hate it when the music does that. It's like, it's like I'm in a game show. And for one million dollars. What is... The first name to have ever I have. I'm trying to think of a question, I my mind went blank. Great dragons, I'm here. Oh, you're just Corellian citizens. Uh, Corellian citizen. A scanner droid, but I'm just gonna hope that I can sneak past it. And I can. And then we got a lookout as well. Um, I'm just going to ignore. All oh, oh dear, oh dear. What the hell was targeting me? Who saw me? Okay. Alright then. Fair enough. Oh, it's a bonus mission as well, and I really should be doing this bonus mission because it's only 10. But I don't know if I can be bothered. This episode is long enough. Well, this episode has been uh, delayed long enough, I should say. And I just want to get this episode out as quick as I can. And then record a smuggler. Well, I only need to kill two more. Um, but there better be two more in this area. And there's plenty. Cool. I will uh, take the experience from the bonus mission. Nine, ten. Lovely. Thank you very much for the bonus mission. And now to stealth the rest of the way. Because that's the Charlie way. What the heck was that droid doing? It's kind of like spinning in midair. What? How do I come out of stealth? Ugh, don't question it. Bye, Crate Enforcer. Enjoy hell. Right, we there yet? Oh, defeat Saban's bodyguards. Well, not without my heroic moment. Wait, Saban's bodyguards? <gasps> the creator of Power Rangers? He has bodyguards? Why isn't that doing any damage whatsoever? There we go. It was a bit of a delay. Fine. No, creator of the Power Rangers. Don't die. No. Power Rangers will be no more. No more. My lord, I wanted I wanted to apologize for Destris earlier. He was out of line. Uh, I love it when you grovel. At least one of you knows her place. I have a great deal of respect for you, 
I just wanted you to know that. You... you radiate a, a power that Caladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. I don't need to rant. My will is done the moment I think it. That's what I mean. You are strong, or Caladius only pretends to be. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius' cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destrus for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. Oh, you did good. The place is called the Strell House. For a charity worker named Dagan Strell, the people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. If it gets me away from this place, fine. Wow. I'm not thankful whatsoever, am I? I am just an asshole. Uh, I'll take that because I can't be bothered to uh, use the crystals, which I have 51 of. So at some point, I should upgrade my armor. Um, not entirely sure when that will be, though. Do I have any new abilities? Apparently I do. Uh, mass mi Mind Trap, thank you very much. I will put that there because I love using that ability when I'm trying to just sneak past somebody who's uh, kind of seen me. Uh, forces away, maybe 50 minutes to attack you for 6. Oh, I don't want to. No, I don't want that. I can just go. I could just go there. That's like a tanking ability. I don't want that. No, thank you. Wait, where are we going to go now? Uh. I guess the promenade, but we'll just go to the Corellian sector and find out. I'm, I'm just completely lost. Again, didn't pay attention. All I know is that I got a base, and yeah, that's really it. Whoa! You... You walked out of an invisible... Invisible cut! Why are you staring at me? Why, why, why are you staring at me? Bow, bow, bow. Hi. Hi. Oh, I know what half of you are thinking, and it is never going to happen. Never going to happen. What? What are you? Are you? Are you sending me messages? I don't know if you're sending me messages or not. You're not. We're just being eerily quiet to each other. We're just... Oh my god! This is so child inappropriate! She just motorboated me. Who are you? Uh, no, don't don't go anywhere. I gotta, I gotta sort of give you a shout out. Ewelyn! You're in a video! Just gonna point that out. Um, you just motorboated my character. Um... I hope you enjoyed that. Yep. You know, imagine into something like this, accidentally finding the wrong sewer pipe and you just fall to your death. Imagine that. It's like when I'm walking just down the street and I see like a drain pipe, I always worry that if I step on the drain pipe, it, I'm, my foot's just gonna go fall straight through it. Not because my foot's small, my foot's actually pretty big, I'm size 11, I'll have you know. But, you know that the actual drain, the actual drain cover will just fall and I'll fall through it. It never happens, but one day, just when I least expect it, I'm probably gonna break a leg. Hello. Are you the Sith they call the Great Dragon, the one they say has his eye on Lord Palladius' cult? His? His? Don't you know what gender I am? That's me. If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius' cult, then yes. Good. I would have hated to kill you and then find out you were the wrong person. Why do so many people think they can oppose my master? They all end up the same way. Perhaps you'll prove a challenge. With most of these works, it's over too quickly. I'll send your body back to your master. In pieces. In pieces. Bark all you like, Sith. It will make you one of the big dogs. Now let's not make it too quick, shall we? I love the way she said that as well. I'll send you back to your master. In pieces. She sounded so evil and... Ah, this is why I love this voice actress. She's amazing. She's just the perfect fit for a Sith Inquisitor. Absolutely insane. I love it so much. 
Anyway, uh, Destris, you could have warned me about the uh, people out there, but never mind. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius' right hand man. Woo! You should hear it. They're calling you the Great Dragon after how you did in Sabin. Look what I found outside. My lord, for getting Sabin off our backs and the crates off our streets, we humbly present you with this gift. Wonderful. I love getting gifts. <laughs> we are honored to serve you, my lord. I love Even getting way, gifts! Kill one gang leader and already you got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Meridian Hall! Oh wait, no, that's Viridian City. Um, he's a dead man! If Palladius dares to show his face, I'll make quick work of him. He won't. Palladius only ever broadcasts to his cult by Hollow. This is our chance. You just go in, make a big show, and boom. It's gonna take more than a show, Destris. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait, I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? You know, the way she's kind of told Destris to shut up reminds me of, um... Uh, like on, uh, Tython, where you got, uh, Meneus. That's enough, Meneus. That's your opinion, Meneus. What on Nar Shaddaa is a ground quake? You know, when the ground shakes underneath you. They're pretty rare, so it'd be a big deal. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. You're always trying to I shoot it out. I just down. the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. Uh, this is better work. Your life depends on this, Destris. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector, not far from Meridian Hall, where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. I mean, this was her idea. Absolutely her idea, wherever the hell she's gone. But where the hell is she? I actually don't know. Where is she? Well, is this all the rewards I get? Oh. No no experience or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, I love how it's all like... Oh, that's a good, good idea, Riley. Yeah, that's a great idea. If it doesn't work, you're dying, Destris. <laughs> yep, logic. I mean, I know he's kind of like set me up with a contact, but come on. It was her idea. So she deserves to die. But... Destris is probably gonna die. Hey guys, hey guys, you wanna see a magic trick? Oh. Well, I was gonna show you that I can stand over those holes and not fall through them, but no, I missed, I missed it, I, I, I missed it. Well, not showing you that magic trick, but I'll show you another magic trick, right? Right, yeah, here's another magic trick. I'm gonna clap my hands and I'm gonna be right outside where I need to be. Wow, that's amazing! Absolutely zero editing was done there! Absolutely insane! Look, we're both businessmen, right? Consider my help and investment in your operations. What's so wrong about businessmen seeking a return on his investment? Your boss saves money in the long run. All right, Madel, you win this time, but one day you're going to reach too deep into the wrong pockets. Yeah, sure. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. He's going to hit the side of the door. Sorry to keep you waiting, Sith, but my business is business. What do you need that Lord Madel can help you with? Glory. I want to shake Nar Shaddaa at its very foundation. Uh, sure, yeah. Gord Medell lives to be a service. Why don't you fill me in on the details first? So let me get this straight. You want me to set off a giant ground wake and ground wake ground quake underneath Meridian Hall? No, no, that's crazy. I need to blow up the pipes to do that. I can't. It'll get me fired. It's so much more fun for me when you refuse. <laughs> Please don't! I don't want trouble, but I got a family to think of! What do you think happens to me when those pipes get damaged and the gang laws of Narshadar blame me? What happens to my family? Do you still hope to win? 
All right, no more, no more. I'll, I'll do it, just please, no more. It's gonna take some time to get everything in place, but take the signaling device. When you want your groundquake, signal me. A signaling device? You shouldn't have. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder about that myself. I should have, I should have the whole thing in place by the time you reach Meridian Hall, but you might want to give me just a few in case. I love being evil. I absolutely love it. But next time, we will make Nashada shake. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time, and a farewell to you.